what is good, good people. <laughs> okay, so here we got your boy. <laughs> Uh, the world's strongest man, Martins Lisi's, who are, uh, is just a fucking awesome human being, like, opening up so many avenues and pathways for the, uh, more and more people to, uh, dive down into, like, uh, the connection of, of themselves and, uh, translating, like, uh, mental strength into body strength and just uh, allowing people to go along the journey with him and so yeah like I, I follow these kinds of people and uh, like people of renown uh, and people of uh, great strength and fortitude <clears throat> mental and, and physical and spiritual uh, it doesn't have to be uh, necessarily manifested in the physical. Like whenever you uh, have great strength in your willpower or your uh, abilities to choose, your abilities to discern, I'm tuned into that all day. I'm vibing with that shit. I'm attuning. This is part of the process that's going on here. Collectively, it's an attunement process. And then all these fucking systems, uh, this, this, this fucking construct and matrix set up to keep us from, uh, to keep us distracted from, from going within, from, from engaging these things that uh, help us strengthen ourselves and realize our own inner power. And how that manifests, where that begins, the origin of that. <clears throat> so yeah, right here he's getting acupunctured. Um, yeah, and no, I'll just go ahead and say, like, I've been doing different uh, weight lifting stuff recently. I just got uh, gifted recently with uh, a, a a bar and some weights and so I've been doing like squats and uh, just utilizing different movements uh, with with this new engagement that I have found and uh, in my kickboxing class tonight I I saw how, how that uh, strength translated and it was uh, it was quite noticeable. <laughs> yeah, it was it was fucking cool, dude. Noticing how whenever we train and discipline ourselves in certain aspects, how that also translates into other aspects of our beingness and our uh, awareness. As within, so without. This is a uh, kind of why basically I wanted to kind of make this is the explanation here that he gave with with the acupuncture is with with the superficial going in, into the layers into the internal aspects I thought it was a beautiful explanation and I'll, I'll give a link to this video Uh, this, uh, shit, I can't remember if this guy was a, I don't remember the, te the technical terminology for this dude, but, uh, I do know he's in Dubai, uh, but this guy is very fucking aware, and, these, I've I've done several videos with like certain chiropractors and certain kind of healing uh, modalities, and these are the fucking high level people you want to seek. Like, whenever you you decide like you want to seek uh, 
another perspective. And Martins makes it very clear, like, I'm just trying to gain fucking knowledge here, gain wisdom, and, and seeking as many aspects and avenues as I can to help me uh, get a clearer picture on this. And this guy was fucking all about that. And then he asked Martins if, if he was uh, open to acupuncture. And Martins was like, eh, I just don't really know like the validity of it, which is fucking brutally honest. Like, that's fucking beautiful. Beautifully honest. And so this guy's explaining, like, you know, what actually happens with it. Because, I mean, you know, a lot of people, uh, they, they get into other, other healing methods and modalities, and they're like, oh, that's, that's fucking bullshit. But, I mean, once you can really explain into it and have it explained to you with someone that's not trying to sell you something they're just telling you this is what happens and if you if you choose to have some kind of a fucking knee-jerk reaction to it well that's because of your own bullshit belief structures that you're still dealing with so yeah i'll play some of this here I kind of just stopped it as soon as I heard this. I'm like, yeah, we're going to go. <laughs> but then I also drew a fucking Oracle card. And uh, I can't I can't wait to read this. <laughs> it's fucking flame on, baby. Yeah. Feels weird? Yeah. What is the sign of okay. it? Do we understand whatsoever why acupuncture works if it does? So anything that's internal inside the body responds really different to anything that's external, mm -hmm. right? So what you're doing here is you're going to be puncturing through multiple layers of skin, mm -hmm. okay? And normally what happens is that you have also certain, you know how muscle contraction works, you need sodium, potassium, and chloride in order to get a proper muscle Good contraction. Good ATP? It's, yeah. Yeah, so, yes, correct. Um, so to a certain extent, you're... So there was a lot there <laughs> uh, with, with a short period of time. We have external systems, we have internal systems, and each has its mechanations and mechanisms in order to, uh, its systems, right? its functionalities. So whenever we're on the outside, like, peering in, uh, we, we don't quite get right in to the inside. And this is what I've been talking about also, like, being on the outside and looking in on things. And you can only get so far with that. So, uh, with, with things, um, intravenous and, and so, uh, direct, as in, going through the layers such as acupuncture you're going through all all, all these layers uh, of uh, and barriers but you're also like sending information through the layers into the inside so like this is I thought I just thought this was very beautiful like this goes back into shamanics and you know what is happening whenever we uh, disengage certain, and also meditation, deep level meditation, where we disengage, you know, the external sensory, and we go into the stillness, we go inside, into this felt connection, where everything opens up. But then also, you know, we're, we're left, we're always left with the choice. What do we choose to interact with, to engage with, to be uh, entertained with? Or do we just be in the stillness? Really get a clearer connection on that direct communion of what our body is trying to tell us, of what spirit is trying to tell us. going to be changing the concentration of these kind of uh, micronutrients across these channels, right? So in turn, it's going to actually relax your lap a little bit as well. Hmm. 
And it also has an internal effect. So when I'm going to be poking, I'm going to actually be creating muscle damage. So like you're going to feel soreness after this. Oh, good. Across the channels. And yes, there is going to be soreness across the channels. Whenever we decide to go down and deep. And heal traumas. There, there is going to be a soreness involved. On. Um, several different levels. Which is going to elicit also kind of a healing response, right? So there's going to be blood flow that's going to come to the area. How do you know where to... Where I, just, I just feel. Ah, beautiful stopping place. The blood flow is key. And it's uh, the chi. It's... It's what we engage whenever we do like uh, skin cleaning and gua sha and deep level massage. We're, we're accessing uh, through the superficial layers um, and, and the, the many layers of the skin into the lymph, into uh, the muscle in the deeper layers. We're, we're getting everything flowing again. We're trying to... Uh, Find where the stagnation is and where the blockages are. And allow flow to happen. And yes, you, you may witness bruising with, with gua sha and uh, certain modalities of healing or compression. But uh, this bruising is bringing... This bruising is bringing blood flow. Uh, to these areas. It's bringing feeling back in and healing to occur. All right? It's more of a feel thing. Words. That's... Yeah. Exactly. Do you have any pain in this area? Oh, yeah. Do you feel it? This is exactly also like what we do with our yoga practice. Uh, the asanas aspect of yoga is uh, we feel into our body and find the areas of stagnation, the areas that are tense, and then we find the movements that allow us to go deeper into these areas, utilizing the breath, realizing that the connection of breath and movement How the breath is also accessing pressures within the body to further engage in the dealing aspect of the healing. My cat is on it tonight. I'm not for sure what the hell is going on with her. <laughs> There's some prayer in action for you guys, if you guys could hear that. But it's all about the feeling. That's that's the first uh, uh bridge that's the first barrier you have to dive into the feeling and so that you realize the barriers that have been set up uh collectively as well as individually uh through traumas through certain uh intense life experiences that we have been ingrained and indoctrinated into uh either numbing down or just completely cutting off altogether
And so these, these methods of feeling into the body, feeling into the pain, this is also goes straight back into shamanics. In just in just any level of true healing, you feel into the aspects that were not you were not aware of before. And yes, it's going to be painful, and yes, you may have bruising, you know, on on one level one level or another. And yes, you may have certain pains and pings and and soreness, but uh, as this heals, which is also something I've been experiencing lately, uh, your body integrates and it gets stronger. It acclimates and adapts. Adaptogens. <laughs> I feel at the end, I, I almost need like a longer needle. <laughs> Do you feel it? Yeah, I feel violated. I consented to this. <laughs> as, long, as long as it's consensual, right? Yeah, so well, that's, all, that's all that matters, right? Oh, I felt that one. I, I don't feel any jumps though. I'm, I'm looking for the jumps. Uh, okay, uh, so we got something. So I normally don't go this open. I don't want to go too graphic or whatever, but uh, Martins is fucking hilarious. He's he's fucking. Oh my god, I love Martins. But also, like, this is the thing with like these strong men. It's like uh, the term is kind of fit, kind of fat. <laughs> and uh, this has everything to do with mass, with uh, ATP, with utilizing strength. Uh, utilizing power, um, having access to power, and uh, having access to healing. And this is about to change real fucking quick. And this is why I'm like super getting into this stuff is because we're about to see like uh, <laughs> I don't want to say too much, but we're about to see on many platforms and levels and layers uh, the truth. This is a refinement process that we're going through, and we are uh, realizing what is really needed, what is actually needed, what we, we have been led to believe is, is needed. What we have been indoctrinated into believing is needed, and then what we experience for ourselves, what's really needed. <laughs> and we we about to have motherfuckers uh, show us what's up. I mean, we already are, if you know where to look. If you know where to look, motherfuckers already out here showing you what's up. So fucking wake up and pay attention. Or don't. Whatever. <laughs> it's all good either way. Because, uh, you know, one way or another, y you'll find your way, you know, in this life or another. However it may manifest for you. So yeah, we'll keep this one pretty short I'm happy with that and so uh, it's card time Yup. It's Dragon Summer time. So I'll read what, what the good book has to say about it. Potentially. <laughs> if I can get this set up here. Huh. 
Yeah, that's that's not a good image <laughs> to have while I read this. Fucking big blob of fat. Well, I mean, and below that fat is like the most fucking muscle ever. But, but yeah, it's so like you're gonna. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. I don't care. And norm. Okay, yeah. Well, we'll do a larger area surface here then. Uh, okay, so the dragon. Keywords. Slaying your metaphysical dragons. Courage. Strength. Facing darkness. I was just, also just wanted to give a shout out. Well, basically to all, all you motherfuckers that, that I connect with. Uh, all you real motherfuckers. Like, it's not fucking easy always, you know, by any means. Uh, being real in this fucking bullshit fucking world. So, shout out to you real motherfuckers. As soon as I drew this card and read the keywords, I was like, I immediately thought of Skyhopper. I mean, I just thought, I thought, I thought of all of you, basically. Skyhopper, especially. Uh, of course, Angie. Of course, Danny. And of course, the Mayan Jin. Of course, Zen Atman. And of course, zigzag. Juni, Tao, all you guys, you, you just the reels, the reels that give me the feels. All right, here we go. While our modern image of the fire-breathing dragon has roots in Nordic and Celtic myths. Greek legend was also rich in dragon stories. In it, the dragon Draco guarded the idyllic garden of the Hesperides, several beautiful nymphs. Through dragons traditionally, oh, though, though dragons traditionally guarded treasure for themselves. Mm. This is big. They were also cast as keepers of golden hordes throughout Europe. German legend tells of the dragon Vafnir, whose lair on the banks of the Rhine, mm, yep, included an enchanted helmet that could make the wearer disappear. In the British Isles, the dragon is mainly remembered as the legendary foe of St. George. <laughs> a warrior who lived in Asia Minor. The poet Edmund Spencer transformed the saint into the Red Cross Knight, a noble English youth sent by the Fairy Queen. Maybe the fairy queen had to slay a menacing dragon. Just as George faced his fearsome opponent, the appearance of the dragon card suggests it is time for you to confront your own enemies, whether they be out in the world or within your psyche you have the courage to do so and I will say that there is no difference so it starts from within you face these things within you see the manifestations the reflections on the outer without This is why we out here always saying, as within, so without. You face this stuff within. You do the deep inner work within. You do the fasting, the breath work, the cleansing within. You wit you bear witness to what happens on the quote-unquote outside to your outer life experiences. 
to the things that just seem to magically happen and manifest for you. You want to talk about power of manifestation, well, you talk about power of clarity. You get clearer and clearer within, and your abilities to not only manifest, but to realize what's really going on. This is what's this is what it's all about here, is realizing the things that we have been led to believe aren't really, you know, important. And those things are what the fuck you really do as a goddamn human being. You create reality in every fucking moment by your choice, by what you choose to engage, by what you choose to feel. And if you aren't in control of that, then that is controlling you. So this is a... Uh, how we take back our powers, we realize what we're doing in every single moment. It's not necessarily being so fucking scrutinizing and, oh, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, and, and completely diving in the, into the analytical. It's, it's just an awareness fucking thing, bro. <laughs> Becoming aware in every moment of what we are doing, what we are choosing, how we are engaging are we just reacting or are we choosing to react a certain way for a certain reason? Because we see a little bit clearer, a little bit further of uh, what potentially could come of our choices, of our reactions and actions. So yeah, that's it for now. Keep doing the inner work and know that we out here feeling what the fuck you doing. You're not alone and uh, the, the more and more inner work you do is being felt by everyone on some level. So uh, if you're doing any level of, of inner work, bro, girl, <laughs> it's big man. Thank you, thank you. From on high, thank you. We feel you. We are you. We wish you. Always. Peace.